Hi everybody, this is Sharon and I'm really excited to share this video with you. I went to Michael's today and it took me 10 years or more to replace my acrylic paints <laughs> for painting Reborns with acrylics and I decided to paint Laura over there with acrylics because I don't feel like hassling with the with the uh, new wave oven and I can get her done so much faster and I've been wanting to have her done <laughs> so I've had my acrylic paints I brought them from New Jersey to Florida I've been here for almost five years and I've had them forever in New Jersey and Michaels has two premium brands for their acrylics and one brand is called Folk Art and the other brand is called Americana Americana is 20 cents cheaper and it's still labeled premium acrylics. They have the, the shelf marked premium acrylics uh, under the Americana and the Folk Art. And so I, I went with the Americana as, as much as I could, but if I didn't find the right color, I, I went with the Folk Art. So I'm going to show you all the colors that I purchased to paint Laura with... Uh, the acrylic paints and don't let anyone tell you that acrylic painted dolls are inferior to Genesis heat set paint dolls because they are not and to make my point <laughs> Ines from Reborn Higa she admitted in one of her videos that some of her prized Bonnie Brown dolls were painted with air dry paints yeah I was surprised to hear that but delighted because uh, now I feel a little bit uh, vindicated <laughs> for using acrylic paints. Um, I had switched back to Genesis for many years, but I, I want to do Laura with acrylics because I just want to get her done. So I'm going to show you. I got 13 colors here, guys. 13 colors. And I mix each batch of color with the magic ingredient, which is this. Folk art outdoor matte varnish yep <clears throat> and distilled water which I need to purchase distilled water doesn't have the minerals in it so it's better and it's not it's not expensive at least it didn't used to be so we're gonna start with the flesh layer <laughs> and this is called and I'm hoping my camera focuses guys and in fact let me put my my reading glasses on so I can actually read um, this is called Warm Beige, Americana Warm Beige. It's a beautiful warm beige color, and I think that'll make a nice flesh coat. And I bought this for the nail tips. It is called Natural Buff. I don't like to use real white. I like to use an off-white. Um, and this looks pretty comparable to Nail Tip White from Genesis. So this is called Natural Buff. Again, these are all matte colors. And then this, I had to get folk art with this because it was a nice pale yellow and the Americana was way too yellow, bright yellow. And I like to put this right on the bulb of the nose. This is called uh, Daybreak. Daybreak. Let me show you what I mean by the bulb of the nose. When I start painting, I'll, I'll probably do some on camera. But this is the bulb of the nose, right in the center. And if you put a little yellow there, it looks more realistic. And Helen Jalland actually taught me that. She taught me a lot about color. Um, yeah, she's from the uh, eBay Feifel, P-I-P-H-E-L is her ID. She's a wonderful artist. I got this as a neutralizing color. If the doll looks too peachy or too red or too, too much, this is a nice neutralizing green. It's called sea glass. So this, this really comes in handy for neutralizing. And then, let's see. Purple, this is a lavender. I use this for a variety of different things, which when I start painting, I'll tell you when I use it. Here's what I got for the veins. It's called Deep Midnight Blue. 
looks like that. And sometimes I mix the um, this color green. It's like a teal green. This is called Laguna. Sometimes I mix this with the blue for veins because if you look at your veins, I mean look at my veins. Some of them look purple. Some of them look like this Laguna color. And some of them look like a dark blue. So yeah. <laughs> and let's see. This is Wild Berry. It's a nice soft color. I was looking for brick to do the creases and they didn't have it, so I'm going to have to mix colors to come up with brick. But I liked this Wild Berry color. It's a nice soft red as opposed to this, <laughs> which is not the Fire Engine red. It's Cherry Red. It's a nice red. And then this is my favorite color. Uh, I have something called Black Cherry, which I love, and this is close to it, Cranberry Wine, and I use this for my blushing. Yeah, this is a beautiful color. I'm going to actually look at my Black Cherry and see how it compares to that, but I hope it, I hope it does. It seems to. And then I got this color. If your doll just doesn't seem to be picking up any life, and it needs a boost. You can put a little bit of this watered down though, raw sienna color, to give your doll some color. And it's also good if you want to do a biracial baby to use a raw sienna. Depending on how dark you want to make it, you can mix it with this bittersweet chocolate, which I bought for the hair and the eyebrows. Because most of the time, browns come out lighter than than you would think on vinyl for some reason. And then I got this color just because I love it. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm going to use it for anything because it's just it's called Vintage Tea Rose and it's just beautiful, isn't it? Um, I'm hoping that I'll find a place for it <laughs> on the doll to use because it's just so soft and so pretty and I like to paint my dolls soft and pretty. So here we go. Here's everything right here. I hope I answered a lot, a lot, a lot of questions that I have been getting time and time again, um, mostly about whether I seal the doll first. I don't. I, I mix this right in with the paints, every batch of paint, and then I use it alone at the end to mat the doll. But these are the colors I use. There's 13 different colors here. And you can mix them. If you're good with color, you can mix them to come up with a variety of different colors and different shades for what you need. So, that's it. I hope this was helpful. I know it was helpful. <laughs> I know it was helpful. My acrylic... Uh, tutorials get the most views of all my videos and I wanted to update that so badly because it's been a while since I replaced my paints. It's time. It's really time. <laughs> so I'm going to do Laura next. Yeah, let me zoom in on Laura in case you don't remember what Laura looks like. I'm sure you do. Everybody has a Laura except for me and I want a Laura. I want to hold her. I want to see what she looks like. Zoom in a little bit more. She has such gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous hands and, and, and feet and movement. All right, thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a wonderful weekend. I'm planning on having a wonderful tomorrow. We're going to Brooksville with a couple friends to have lunch and to do some antiquing. So I hope the weather holds out. I hope it's not too hot, but that's what I'm planning for tomorrow. So maybe I'll take you along. Maybe I'll take the camera. Maybe I won't. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Love you. Bye-bye.